you will remember that it was to the land of Phoenicia the Lord Jesus came. It was one of his few journeys outside of the land of Israel. There was one as a little child. You remember he went down into Egypt and perhaps across the Jordan into a few spots there, but very seldom left the land of Israel. But on one occasion he did, and he traveled about 60 miles each way to meet a Syro-Phoenician woman. The land of Phoenicia was the land of the traders. It was, until the recent war, known as the Switzerland of the Middle East, famous for their banking systems. It was really a beautiful place, the land of Lebanon. The Phoenicians were some who gave us our earliest written language. Our alphabet is based largely on the Phoenician alphabet. They were those who specialized in the production of paper, in dyes of cloth, and in the trading system. They had a great navy that traveled the then-known world in trading. Great dominion. And this certainly pictures the world for us too, doesn't it? Inventive, successful, reaching out, expanding their horizons, but nothing for God. This Phoenician woman, she said, have mercy on me. And he said, in effect, now, listen, if I have food, I'm going to feed my own children. I'm not going to feed the dogs. In other words, this food is not for the Gentiles, it's for the Jewish people. And she said, well, no, but, but the dogs can at least have the crumbs that fall from the table of the pastor. Isn't that true? In other words, all that Phoenicia has to offer me is as nothing to be compared with one crumb from the master's table. All the world promises and all its claims and all its desires for you, all its plans for you. The world loves an honest, hard-working, conscientious Christian. If you will pour your life into the world, the world will reward you. But one crumb from the master's table is more than all that Phoenicia can offer.